Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're focusing in on this video on the traits of the uh, psychopath, the extreme antisocial personality disorder that we see defined by the DSM-5R, the Diagnostic Statistical Manual that is utilized by mental health professionals to diagnose and treat mental health disorders. And we find that uh, uh, the individuals who present with psychopathy uh, those uh, who are really high at the um, extreme or severity of the anti-social spectrum are also highly intelligent. So there's uh, a lot of uh, debate in the literature as to um, why this can exist uh, simultaneously. This uh, one, you know, one of the typical uh, typifying qualities of the uh, psychopath um, antisocial personality disorder is their lack of uh, conscience. So it's a disregard for right or wrong. And uh, this is thought to, uh, this really uh, pronounced uh, quality of a psychopath is this, this lack of conscience. So they really do, they do not recognize fear. They oftentimes are um, extremely reckless, extremely dangerous in terms of that they will violate uh, traditional so, uh, societal norms to get what they want. So uh, what they have found really in the physiological basis for uh, those individuals, both male and female, uh, presenting with psychopathy um, is, the, um, is, is a several uh, physiological basis. For one is a thinning of the uh, amygdala, the, um, the, uh, the brain center, uh, the neural center responsible for uh, dopamine um, and uh, for reward center and impulse control, um, as well as um, uh, the excess of, of dopamine um, in their in their uh, system, so they have uh, a very heightened dopamine response to uh, areas that are associated associated with reward. So reward can be financial, reward can be sexual, reward can be um, you know uh, another person, uh, their relationship. So they have this propensity to um, really um, seek their reward because of this heightened level of dopamine, regardless of uh, what laws they're going to break, who they're going to violate, etc. So they have an extreme disregard for right or wrong, persistent lying um, or deceit to exploit others, and to exploit which means to take advantage of others really at all costs. And in the most insidious of ways, so whether it's, um, whether it is, uh, uh, stalking people, uh, creating a smear campaign about them, trying to uh, disrupt their uh, reputation at their workplace, their family. Um, this again is related to a highly reward-driven activity in the uh, physiology of the uh, psychopathic individual. They also use charm uh, to manipulate and control others for their personal gain. Um, and, you know, so this does oftentimes occur problems with the law, but oftentimes, you know, we find that the psychopath is extremely intelligent or extremely um, adept at cunning and manipulating and getting around the law. Um, they very much feel above it. And it's also thought that maybe this heightened sense of intelligence is related to that heightened uh, dopamine level where they're very rewarded um, by engaging in certain behaviors that can lead to intellectual accomplishments which help them furthermore uh, arrive at their goal um, um, and, um, you know, increase their, their supply or their feeling of dominance um, over others. And, you know, it's felt that this brain chemical is responsible for um, this highly reward-seeking or high, highly pleasure-seeking sort of uh, behavior, which really is kind of like an, an undisciplined um, lifestyle. Um, and so, you know, uh, psychopaths can be extremely uh, addictive, uh, have addictive sex, addictive to drugs, alcohol, work, um, things of this nature, because this dopamine production is so excessive that they just can't turn it off. It is, it's also to the disregard of, of norms. And yes, you know, there are people who are high achievers, who work long hours, you know, things of this nature, they um, will be very disciplined, study very hard, you know, and it's because they're extremely disciplined and they're able to become highly organized, highly proficient, and accomplish their goals likewise. But when we see this presented in a, a psychopath, 
really there's it's because there's uh, definitely an element of um, aggression and um, and really sort of uh, deceit and trickery and cunning and there's going to be some sort of negativity associated with the accomplishment of their rewards so and, and oftentimes this is uh, lawlessness recklessness um, highly dangerous acts um, um, you know, immoral acts, illegal acts. So we're talking about breaking the law. We're talking about breaking up relationships. You know, we're talking about, um, you know, working in a calculated and deliberate manner so that they can uh, receive their reward and it's to the detriment of another's reputation, uh, you know, um, personal relationships, whatever it is that psychopathic individual has their mindset on, that is what they're going to be going after. Um, so, you know, this, uh, it's very important to realize the antisocial aspect of this and, um, and furthermore protect yourself because when lawlessness is involved, um, you de then have to get the law on your side, um, to protect yourself from, um, such re reckless or, um, you know, uh, just to deter this abnormal behavior. So it's important to document. Uh, a lot of these behaviors, uh, the people involved, the time involved, and definitely start getting um, a lawyer on your side if you find that you're being victimized by someone who has this very sort of um, aggressive drive and is, um, you know, now um, spilling over into your life, making your life sort of tinged with um, uh, their, their influence. Um, if you're being targeted by uh, someone of this nature, definitely get the law involved. Uh, seek an, uh, an attorney who specializes in this. There are a lot of attorneys out there who will specialize in stalking behavior um, and they will definitely uh, better understand uh, the, uh, you know, the handling of psychopathic individuals and realize that, you know, stalking is, uh, is, uh, is, is illegal and is punishable by uh, fines as well as imprisonment. And even though this might not be an original threat to a psychopath because they really aren't afraid of the law, realize that the law will, will cause them, uh, you know, these, uh, these, these fines and imprisonment. So, uh, take action steps to protect yourself if this is occurring so you can live your life furthermore, um, in peace and harmony.